Wow. Hey guys, Georgie here with Evolution Vape. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Mutation X version 4. I'm really excited for this review because it's just such a great atomizer. It's, it's just awesome. First thing I want to say is I put a sneak peek video up of this RDA a month and a half, two months ago, and I said in that sneak peek video that I was going to be reviewing it, doing a full review uh, in one week. Um, I didn't do that. It's been like two months, and I just wanted to get to know this device a little bit more. I wanted to be comfortable talking about it with you guys. I just wanted to know everything about it, and now I feel, feel pretty confident that I do know this RDA, and I could recommend it, tell you what I like, tell you what I don't like about this RDA. Um, let's take another hit and we'll go down for the up close and personal. And we are up close with the Mutation X version 4. Let me show you guys the boxing real quick. Let's unbox this. Right here you have your pamphlet. Shows you all the configurations you can run in, colors, and etc. And this is the extra goodies you get. You get a screwdriver, some screws, and some O-rings, and some silicone plugs. That's for the bottom airflow. You can block those off if you want. I'll show you guys once we get to the atomizer itself. And there she is. This RDA is primarily made of 304 stainless steel. Up here you have your 18 degree airflow nine holes on each side, you have a very wide bore drip tip, um, here's the base, this is I believe silver coated copper uh, and it is adjustable for those who are wondering. Here's the bottom airflow that I was talking about and you have this inner barrel, this is how you adjust your airflow. Now right now it's running in dual, if you close it off a little bit, halfway it'll be the exact same on the other side. Or you can line up the longest one, close that off completely. This is for single coil, and it'll stay closed off like this. And then you can open it, you can close it off, close it off, close it off, and it'll be completely closed off on the other side. This is for single coil. Um, let's take a look at the deck now. It is triple O-ringed at the base. You got a four post design, negative posts are milled into the deck with a positive block and you have a peak insulator down there in the bottom. Very clean. These holes down here for the bottom airflow come up through the top and hit the bottom of the airflow and that intensifies flavor, it really does. Um, relatively deep juice well, it's about five millimeters. It's really clean, almost no machine oil at all. And this is the top cap. Very clean, you got the 18 degree airflow. You got a total of nine holes on each side. And you have the bottom airflow here. And it says mutation X version four down there. Laser etched logo. Take a look inside of the barrel. This is the drip tip. Very wide bore. This thing is massive. Down here you have these uh, bladed slots like. This is for the adjustable airflow. You guys gotta be careful when you guys use this. They, they're pretty damn sharp. Almost cut myself a few times on them, but here's a look inside. Really, really clean. And uh, let me show you how you guys could actually run this thing. I do wanna mention, I just wanna show you guys what these silicone plugs are for. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys those now. All right guys, this is the silicone plug. I just wanna show you guys what it looks like. When you guys are handling these things, I ask that you do be careful with them because I already lost like two already. They're, they get lost very easily. I don't know how, but it just does. But uh, this is what it looks like when it's installed. As you can see right there, it completely blocks off the airflow coming from the bottom of the coil, which I thought that was pretty cool of indulgence to include that because you know if I don't want the bottom airflow, I have a choice to not do it, and that's what I like. This thing has a lot of options. There's a lot more stuff I wanna show you about it. Let's go ahead and get to the uh, 510 adapter now for your drip tips. And how you put the adapter on is you take off these little, this little thing up here is threaded. As you can see, it's spinning off now. And you put this aside, and this is your standard 510 drip tip adapter. 
So how you install it, you see the threads down there? You just get the top of the, the bottom of this piece and you just screw it in. And now, once you got that screwed in, you can put your favorite drip tips in. Now let's go ahead and get to the Pyrex extender. This thing I'm actually pretty excited to talk about and show you guys because it, I use it for a couple of different things and I'll show you now. This is the Pyrex extension. All it does is, this is what it's for. When you have a build in this atomizer and it's a little too hot for you to handle and you sometimes you just can't handle the hot vapor, this just makes a little bit more of distance between the coil and your mouth. That way it's, it's, it cools down the vapor a lot. It actually does work. How you screw it in is, remember these little threads, you just, it's the same idea with the 510 adapter, you just screw them in. All right, now, once you have a build in here and everything, you don't have to do this. You don't have to put on this. You can put that on and then put the wide board drip tip on there if you want. You can put this on there just like that. Or what I like to do is whenever I'm like going crazy with cloud chasing, is I like to take this thing off and use that as a chuff cap. Um, some people use it like this, some people don't. Whenever I'm just messing around, like trying to do crazy clouds or whatever, I like to go and use this. It just, it cools down the vapor a lot and it's a ton of airflow. And if you want, you can use your 510 adapter as well for your favorite drip tips. You just put it on just like that. It's pretty simple. Then you get your 510 drip tip and put it on and that's how it looks. It really does cool down the vapor, it works great. And that's what it looks like all assembled and stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, take it back to FaceTime. And we're back to FaceTime. Uh, first, let's go over the, the colors you can get this RDA in. You can get it in stainless steel, black, white, and logoless copper. Uh, this RDA was originally black, but one of the cons that I am gonna mention is if you get it in I guess white or black, the paint will eventually start to chip. It's just the inevitability, you can't help it. It happens over time. So what I did, the reason why this is stainless steel now is because I got some uh, nail polish remover and I just took off the paint around the uh, outer barrel. And I just you know, took it down and I kind of like the way it looked, but I left the top up here black. So it doesn't, you can't get it in this exact color like this because it's custom. But those are the colors you can get them in. Another con that I do have to mention is the threading on like the Pyrex extension and the 510 adapter and all that, they're really rough. Like sometimes they'll get seized and I would have to get like a rag or, or like my shirt or something and just tear at it and it would mess the threads up even more. But I guess you can't help that. Another con I have to mention is it leaks a little bit. It doesn't leak a lot, but it leaks a little bit and it's kind of annoying. You can't just get a syringe and squeeze it and go in there because you know, it will leak. And that's because of the bottom airflow. Other than that, this RDA vapes extremely well. The, on to the pros now. One of the pros I have to mention is the flexibility of this RDA. You can run it in a lot of different modes. It does have single coil option for the single coil guys and girls out there. Pyrex extension, I, I love that because I can't really handle too hot of a vape, that's just me. You got the 510 adapter and I just, I love the options. I, I love the fact that I could do that. Another pro I have to mention is the bottom airflow. If you wanted, you could even turn the top cap and close it off. You can leave the three, you can leave all three of them open. You can leave two of them open or one of them open. And that's another feature I forgot to mention in uh, the up close. So I do apologize for that. Other than that, this RDA vapes immensely well. I mean, if you're, if you're in between buying a flavor chasing atomizer and a cloud chasing atomizer, this is like the, the, monster in between those. This thing can chuck the flavor and it can chuck the vapor. It's it's the best of both worlds and that's in my opinion. Uh, it vapes awesome. I'll just take another hit for you guys to show you what it could do. And I am using the uh, Pyrex extension, like I said, as a chuff cap just to show you guys what it can do. Lost you guys for a sec. Um, it It's ridiculous. I actually went to a cloud competition with this exact setup, the way this atomizer is set up, uh, and it worked great. I mean, I was 
keeping up with the best of them. In this atomizer, I do have a two strand parallel 24 gauge in here. So that'll give you a good idea of what kind of resistance you should shoot for to get that kind of a cloud. This build is relatively low. Because I have the Pyrex extension and my airflow completely open, the bottom end top, it's not even hot vapor at all. But you get the density, you get the distance with this thing. The flavor is, I, it's great. I love this atomizer. I'm going to give this atomizer on a scale from 1 to 10, I have to give it a solid 7.5. This thing is, it's non-stop performance. I haven't put it down since I got it and I got it like two months ago. This thing is awesome. I did receive this at vapesiggy.com. He is selling it for $39.99. Now for the price that you pay for this atomizer, that's another pro on its own. This thing should, I could easy, I could easily spend $60 on this atomizer without even thinking twice. That's what, to me, that's what this thing is worth. That's what it should go for, but Indulgence, they did an awesome job with this thing and they're selling it for an awesome, awesome price. Really competitive. Uh, visit vapesiggy.com. I will leave a link in the description somewhere. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And remember, you're not living life until you vape life.